Hi again. It's Kelly Sparta. Go figure. Uh, I am going to talk to you today about what happens when you start uh, really pushing your energy to its limits. And you know, if you're doing any sort of breath work, or if you're doing healing work, or if you're uh, reaching out into the ethers and doing, you know, any sort of, of work that is requiring a lot of energy on your part, you will hit this point. And if you've been listening to the podcast from the very beginning, you'll know that most of the first year of the podcast was, you know, how not to, to uh, shred yourself, how not to break things, right? How not to fry yourself. And so I want to talk to you today about the process of expanding yourself, expanding your energy field. So most people's uh, access to energy, it starts out as like this very small line of energy that's available. Now there are some exceptions to this rule. Some people come in as wild talents and things like that. But in general, the average person has a very narrow, think, think like a a feeder line to a, a dishwasher type hose, you know, like a quarter inch around, half an inch around sort of le amount of energy that runs through your entire chakra system. And over time, as we practice more and more, we, we stretch that container. And, you know, we get up to garden hose size and, you know, a little bit more, right? And, you know, everybody goes trying to shoot for that fire hose size. Now, let me tell you, being at fire hose size is no picnic either because now you got to you gotta manage your energy because not everybody can take it all in. So I just want to say, be happy where you are. Don't try and push this. Now, with that said, the, the energy that you're running, if you're pushing up to the edge of it, the first thing I'm going to say is don't push it just for the sake of pushing it. That does not serve any purpose and it actually puts you further along in your need to manage your energy around others than you really want to be and it'll create more problems than it's worth because you won't have the skills to be able to manage your energy appropriately. Um, and so this only do this practice when you are doing something and you find yourself up against it. Clear? All right. You're a sovereign being. Do as you will. But if you blow yourself up, don't blame me. Okay, good. All right. So here we go. The, when you're doing something, and I'll give you an example, right? Years ago, I was uh, at Rites of, no, not Rites of Spring, uh, Twilight Coveting, which is an Earth Spirit community event in Western Massachusetts. And I was very early on in my process. It was like, it was 20, 20 years ago at this point. And uh, we were in a ritual where we were the last people out the door to go to this ritual and it's it's in the Berkshire Mountains in October so it's freaking cold and it's at night and because we were the last group to go out they were letting the fire which was the only heat source in the building that we were in die out and so now we're sitting there and we're getting colder and colder and colder and I was like you know what why am I being cold I know how to turn my energy field on. I know how to run energy and it gets me hot every time. So I'm just going to turn on and run some energy. And I did. And I warmed up and I was like, everybody else is cold too. Let me help. And I took my hands and I put them out to either side to the people on the right and left of me. And it was like, and they looked at me and they're like, what? And then their eyes flew open as they warmed up. And I was like, touch the person next to you. And basically I ran energy to heat everybody in my little tribe there and never occurring to me that it might be more energy that I had access to at the time. Okay. So here's the thing. If you run into something like that, that you're doing, I fried myself because I didn't know how to do this process that I'm about to teach you. But if you're running into something like that, one, consider whether or not it's your responsibility to heat everybody in the tribe. It was not my responsibility, <laughs> but consider it. And two, if you decide that you want to do that, then here's how you don't blow yourself up like I did because I was toast for like weeks after that. But what you're going to do is as you push your energy past its point where it starts to feel tight, where you're like, okay, this is a lot, right? The, the tightness is actually a function of control. It's a function of you trying to manage your energy 
and hold on to it in a way that it is not designed to be held on to. And so the key is to feel into that energy and say, okay, how do I release control? I'm not trying to push it. I'm not trying to expand it. I'm just trying to let go of trying to keep it small, right? Trying to control it and direct it and everything else. I'm just going to I'm just going to let it flow through me in the way that it wants to flow through me. And I'm going to release that energy and allow it to expand. Right now, you're not looking to expand into multiple dimensions or go out, you know, you know, to the edges of the land that you're on or anything like that. You're just allowing it to expand within you. Right. And it's not about pushing it to expand, expand, expand to a certain level or anything like that. It is simply about allowing it to go to where it wants to go for what it is that you're accomplishing. And so again, buyer beware, do not push this early because it comes with other things, right? Because when you're running more energy, now you need more energy. Now you're flowing more energy. Now more people and more things on the astral are attracted to you. So if you don't have your protections up, if you don't have your personal shields up and your wards, and, and if you don't know how to manage your energy field effectively and you don't know how to clear things, you do not want to push your energy past where it naturally is because for some of you, you're already getting noticed and this could be problematic. So please, please, please hear me when I say, let this happen organically. And when this shows up, use this skill, okay? That's your hint for the day. I will see you next time.